Oh look, a commentary on the game, dude. How original. However, this commentary will be a special one, since I've teamed up with Dilab, but the guy who does I can't believe it's not AVGN. Yes, since I'm a fan of his series, and I mostly do commentaries on reviews, I knew I'd get to this one eventually. And since this was at least cartoon related, we thought we'd team up to bring you this special edition of I Can't Believe It's Not AVGN on the Game Dude's review of Mickey Mouse Capades for the NES. Let's go! Ever since they debuted in Playing Crazy, Mickey, who is a fucking asshole, and Minnie, have been amongst the greatest cartoon stars of all time. These lovable Disney icons built our childhood, but at the same time, destroyed them with their shitty games. One of them being Mickey Mouse Capade, amongst the most ignominiously annoying games I've ever played. Dude, you totally just sat there and let the wave hit you! Now you're probably wondering, how on earth can you go wrong with Mickey Mouse? It's called Fantasia for the Sega Genesis. Look it up. This castle of illusion is amazing. Well, just wait and see. Okay, is this Mickey Mouse Capade or Mickey Mouse? And Does it really matter? Why do they look like they're from the 1930s? Because they are, or at least close to them. Yeah, just your standard Game Dude review where he nitpicks everything but what really matters, the gameplay. If you don't believe me, just keep watching. To Funhouse! Why is only one block of wood nailed to the pole, or are the others just floating? Why even have all the letters on three separate blocks of wood rather than one? Why is the O of two not capitalized? And how do Mickey and Minnie know the fun house is east and not north? Directional signs without arrows point north by default. Why is the sky blue? Why do birds fly south? Why is my acting so bad? Why does Cartoon Network cancel every good show it gets on the air? Why do I ask questions just to pad out the runtime of this video? Why? 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 And fun? That's the biggest mistake of them all. And you can really tell by how angry I sound. Nothing about this house is fun. Except you have to explain it to me! If you have to explain a joke, there is no joke! Now rather than be a generic platformer buried in a mountain of other generic platformers, this fucker wanted to be creative. So Minnie sniffs your farts throughout the entire game, copying your every move and following your ass like Tails does with Sonic. Except that Tails is actually helpful, you know, collecting rings and killing enemies for you, while Minnie is worse than not being there at all. Besides shooting only one star at a time later on, she does absolutely nothing. Oh, except for doing one awesome thing, she does absolutely nothing. Great logic, bro! She can't collect items, or even be controlled by a second player like Tails, but thankfully she can't be harmed by enemies. She only gets hit if you get hit. You also can't leave a screen unless she's right behind you. Many times you have to go back, get me behind you, then move forward again. Now, folks, this is what you call bad level design. Sometimes she irritatingly gets in front of you. It doesn't work. She gets in the way. How does she get in the way? From the clips I'm seeing, you can shoot right through her, or she shoots instead of you, one, so what does it matter? She is the scourge of the universe. Minnie is Uwe Boll? Once you get star power and upgraded seconds after starting the game, you'll have it until the end no matter what, so why not just have it at the very beginning? The hell kind of question is that? That's like asking, why don't you have the rush jet in Mega Man 3 right from the beginning? You have to earn the upgrade, just like every other power-up. God, you nitpick more than confuse Matthew. Sometimes the upgrade is replaced by an enemy, so you have to keep re-entering the room until you get it. Look at this! Finally! Now even though you only shoot a maximum of two stars at a time while Minnie shoots one after the upgrade, by the time you're done, you'll still see more stars than after a fight with Chuck Norris. 
and break your thumb by constantly having to tap the A button. So use a turbo controller. As long as you admit you're using it, we'd be cool with that. Even with the upgraded star power, the game is nearly impossible to beat. And it's a kid's game! Because God forbid a kid's game be challenging. Stop whining and play the damn game. Would have been nice to have Donald, Daisy, Pluto, Goofy, Pooey, Dewey, Louie, Scrooge, and Ludwig. Then again, they'd probably make them all fall your ass and call the fucking game Mickey Mouse Parade. It's bad enough with Mickey and Minnie, and it would even be bad enough with just Mickey, because the horrendous control, it's sluggishly imprecise, and when you jump one way, you'll freeze fall every time you try to go the other. Because everyone knows the NES let you change direction in mid-jump. You know, I can understand this if the character was double jumping, but changing direction in a single jump just seems stupid unless you need to make a precise landing or something. A mighty pain in the ass when trying to jump over enemies. There are so many of them and they throw so many things, the sprites keep flickering with massive slowdown, which can be good because they move and attack so fast. Some are practically unavoidable. Some take so long to kill while others are so hard to hit because of imprecise aiming control. Some keep dodging every attack, so you have to keep changing the pattern. Oh my god, the enemies are dodging my attacks. This game is too hard. And Minnie keeps facing the wrong way when shooting. Also, if you leave a room and return, they immediately respawn. You just have to keep playing it, following patterns, and memorizing where everything is. You can't jump while on ladders, which sucks. Fortunately, there's extra lives, blue diamonds that kill all enemies on screen, cakes that recover a bit of health, and red diamonds that recover all health. You reveal these items by shooting every square inch of empty space, and lights that look like upside-down grenades. But there's so many recovery items, they make it almost impossible for you not to beat level 1. Make up your mind, is the game too easy or too hard? There's even Adventure Island's Invincibility Fairy, but later on, nothing will save you. Now when you fight a boss, the most annoying music plays that is worse than having a symbol monkey clash its symbols on your ears. After you beat the first boss and get the key, you have to travel all the way back to the very beginning. A very cheap way to artificially lengthen the level. Finally, we get to level 2. I just love how Mickey calls Minnie over, just mocking you because of how fucking worthless she is. Like level 3, you don't freeze fall here, meaning they deliberately made the control worse for every other level. But now that we're on the ocean, the second Minnie falls in, you'll automatically go down with her, which doesn't make any sense like how if Popo dies in melee, Nana evaporates. Actually, that's exactly the reason. They don't want to live without the other. It's cheap, yes, but to me it makes sense. Anyway, you really have to jump the platforms farther than you normally would. Sometimes I miraculously forget she's behind me until I die, because, you know, I didn't jump far enough to the next platform. Suppose all these fast and tall waterfalls weren't enough, so they had to add a fucking jellyfish on top. Damn it, there's so many of them. Oh, and look, there's even flying fish. What a fucking hack. You are so black. I'm not black, you're black. I'm not black, you're black. I don't know what you're talking about. You're oh. so obviously the black one. I mean, for Grano. The music is the worst. It's so nice and cheerful. It's like laughing at me. Well, I'm gonna get it rains forth upon this fucking game. You think that's enough balls, you croco fuck? Look at this. How is any kid supposed to dodge all these balls? This isn't funny! Damn it! Level 3, both the hardest and longest level, is divided into parts. Keep walking and the part will loop, so to get to every next part, you'll have to enter a certain tree in the foreground. Enter the wrong one and you'll either have to repeat that part or go back to a previous one, sometimes at the very beginning. The fastest way out is to make a hole and enter the first tree before the loop, which skips part 2. Make a hole and enter the third tree, make a hole and enter the first tree after the loop, and then walk to the boss. How is any kid supposed to figure this out? Ever heard of Game Facts or Nintendo Power? Besides, not all things in games were made to be obvious. Would you rather have signs telling you, Hey idiot, go into this tree? Not only are all the trees with holes lies, but so are some that you make holes in. Besides, another pattern that's only different by involving part two, this is the only way out. Otherwise, you'll be jumping from part to part for what could be hours. I'm not kidding. Just in case that's not confusing enough, if you're ever sent back to part one, it changes so you can't skip part two. Oh, and if Minnie falls in a bottomless pit? Yeah. And why must it take like 10 years to make holes and reveal items? You know what's really annoying? 
Why must there be so many enemies guarding the pits? This is one of the cheapest games I've ever played. Other way, you mini fuck. Pro tip. Walk in the other direction, you nitwit! And why is walking on ice the same as walking on ground? There should be less friction. Oh, so now you want more challenge. I give up trying to understand your logic, kid. Damn, those flowers are massive. And they're in the background, too, which means they're even bigger. Look at all these enemies. Why are there so many of them? What? Look at this. Why is Amy Control so bad? What a fucker nuzzle. Fuck? Finally! Trying to dodge them all is suicide, so you might as well try to shoot down every one in your path. Never would it be wise to hear not shoot. They never end! The music is even worse, it's torture. It's even more cheerful than before, and it's like forcing me to be happy while I'm mad as fuck. Damn it! <laughs> Look at her cheeks. <laughs> Look at his smile. Oh, that's funny. That's it? You've got to be kidding me. This is ridiculous! Now, it would make more sense for this to be the last level, because Pete is the villain on the label and the only boss that's actually from the Mickey Mouse universe. What about the Phantom Blot? But no, there's one more after this. The castle. Yeah, <laughs> only five levels while Mario 3 has eight worlds. That's pathetic. This is where Minnie is the worst. Look at this. Get up here! Today! You grumpy daughter of a fuck twat. For the sake of fuck. Speaking of hard to reach pizzas, look at this. Come on. This is just a bunch of cockadookie. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh. Man. That crow just kidnapped Minnie. That would have been awesome if I didn't need her to beat the level. So now I have to go to the bonus room and win her back. Now when Minnie is missing, the next hidden item you reveal will be the key. So you have to shoot everywhere until you reveal it. Grab it to unlock and enter the bonus room. The goal is to touch the correct Tweety Bird or whatever the fuck these things are. Touch the wrong one and you have to go back to reveal another key to restart. Now, you'd assume that everyone you get wrong only narrows down the option the next time you play, but no, that's not how it works. It's always random, meaning if the last one was wrong the first time, it could be right the second. Because of this, every round is pure chance. And I swear, I had to redo that fucking bonus room over ten times, which means I had to collect over ten keys, which by themselves take forever to do. It's a fucking nightmare. Great, what a wonderful prize. Fucker platypussy! Look at this, I'm bouncing on air. What? Pete is back and now he's just a random enemy? Why isn't he the final boss? It's called the degraded boss. Other games do this a lot, why not this one? Instead, we get Maleficent. But unlike the others, all you have to do to beat her is go behind and shoot. Could the ending be any worse? Great. So, that was the objective the entire time. To save Alice. Alice? What the fuck does Alice have to do with the Mickey Mouse universe? One, try reading the manual. And two, they're both Disney characters. What more do you need? Well other than being a Disney character. See, even you say that's a pointless nitpick. And that's it? Nothing else? End? 
You'd be better off getting anal fucked by a walrus with elephantiasis of the dick. What a fucking disgrace to the mouse's legacy. Well, that's the end, and damn, I can see why people hate the game dude now. He nitpicks over the dumbest things that would be common sense to other gamers and really don't affect the gameplay. He blatantly rips off the AVGN, except for one thing, he's a terrible actor. But in all honesty, this was really more boring than bad. Thanks, DLA, and I'll see you guys next time.